Uh, can I have two players in the corner, two players in the corner, one player at half court in the corner, one player at half court in the corner, two players in defense, and two players in offense right here. Can you start in the middle? We only need one ball, this one. All the rest away. You're on offense on the right side, you're on offense on the left side. Can you go in the corner behind him? Okay. <clears throat> to, to work further on our help defense there and the rotation, what I like to do is this two-on-two -two half court drill. What is going to happen? Stay in the corner, stay in the corner. These two players, you play an offense on that side. We stay half court, okay? After the possession, the defense gives an outlet pass to one of the two corners and you pass it up to the middle. And it is to the two players in offense to sprint at the middle and to come and play defense. After your offense, sprint to the middle to play defense. Ready? Go! Outlet pass, you pick it up, the two of you come to the middle, you stay together, you're the next team, outlet pass to the corner, pick it up right here. <coughs> outlet, outlet, freeze. You're an offense here, the, that team come to the middle, yes. Of course, this is the moment where we need to talk about our rules and what we expect from our players. For this player, your job is what we also did in the, in the last drills. Put as much pressure as you can, but for sure close the middle. Use your arms, and actually we want to send him to that corner, right? You close the middle here. For that second player, what we definitely do not want is of course that you stay with your man, okay? What we expect from you is to be on the basket line, the line rim rim. Whenever you are beaten by the baseline side, what's going to happen? Then you come to help, okay? And you yell, help! That means that you sprint to the bucket and we make this rotation between the two players. You will see by definition that when I told in the previous drill that that player, that he had to step off when there was a middle penetration, well, here you will see that whenever he is beaten through the middle, it's very, very, very hard for the defense anyway. So here it is not a, a rule where the defense steps off by a middle penetration, but here you will see that it's almost impossible to still stop the attack, okay? When you are in help. Yes, in this case we, we yell help, okay? Be ready here, be in a stance, move your feet, active hands, active feet. What are you yelling? Ball, ball. you're on the ball. Let's go guys. Help, help. <coughs> outlet, outlet, pick it up, pick it up. You're on help. Outlet. Pick up half court. Outlet, outlet, pick up, pick up, help, below, close the middle there. Guys, I want to see a better communication. Ball is on the left here, on the ball. 
Yell ball, put pressure. You are yelling help, help. When now the ball is swung to the other side, you step out. Yell ball, ball, ball. Your help. Let's go. Continue. Help. 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 <coughs> ball, ball, ball. Outlet, outlet, pick up, pick up, pick up. No middle there. When you are in help defense, always active feet, adjust your position to the situation where you can always and watch the ball and watch the other player. Okay? Let's go. Box him out, box him out, outlet pass, outlet pass. Talk, guys! Rotate, good job! Outlet, outlet! No middle! More pressure on the ball. No middle! This last one, that's exactly what I mean. If there is a middle penetration, it gets very, very hard. Um, <coughs> a problem that I face often in teaching defense or in, in games, and actually it is in all the age categories, that is that it is very hard to teach players to speak, that's one thing. So once more, we have to start teaching at a very young age with the right verbals, who says what in which situation, but also, also who is committing to the ball. Whenever there is a situation out of a rotation, when the ball is swung and two players are helping, that they watch each other for two seconds and that nobody really anticipates and sprints out and makes it clear I'm going for the ball and that communication sometimes I have no players going for the ball some player sometimes two players at the same time sometimes yeah they're not talking 